cannot believe Christy let Howard into my apartment. And I cannot believe people pay for horoscopes. But on a more serious note, it's 8.13, and we're still not playing Halo. Hey, fine. We'll just play one-on-one -on -one until he gets back. One-on-one? -on -one? We don't play one-on-one. -on -one. We play teams, not one-on-one. One-on-one. -on -one. Well, the only way we can play teams at this point is if we cut Raj in half. Sure, cut the foreign in half. There's a billion more where he came from. <laughs> hey, if you guys need a fourth, I'll play. Great idea. Uh, no. <laughs> the wheel was a great idea. Relativity was a great idea. This is a notion and a rather sucky one at that. Why? Why? Oh, Penny, Penny, Penny. Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> This is a complex battle simulation with a steep learning curve. There are myriad weapons, vehicles, and strategies to master, not to mention an extremely intricate backstory. Oh, cool. Whose head did I just blow off? Mine. Okay, I got this. Lock and load, boys. It's the only way we can play teams. Yes, but whoever's her partner will be hamstrung by her lack of experience, and not to mention the fact that she... <laughs> Hey, that sounds not good sportsmanship to shoot somebody who's just respawned. You need to give them a chance to... Now, come on! Rosh, right. Rosh, you got the corner. Cover me. Cover this, suckers! <laughs> Eddie, you are on fire! <laughs> yeah, so is Sheldon! <laughs> okay, that's it. I don't know how, but she is cheating. No one can be that attractive and this skilled at a video game. Wait, wait, Sheldon, come back. You forgot something. What? This plasma grenade. Now. You just wait until you need tech support. Gosh, yeah, he's kind of a sore loser, isn't he? Well, to be fair, he's also a rather unpleasant winner. Well, it's been fun. Uh, you know, Penny, we make such a good team. Maybe we could enter a couple of Halo tournaments sometime. Or we could just have a life. I guess for you, that's an option. <laughs> good night, Leonard. Good night. As usual, nice talking to you, Raj. What do you suppose she meant by that? She's an enigma, Raj. Sheldon! 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 Yes? Where are my clothes? Your clothes? Yes, I left them in the washers, and when I went down to get them, they were gone. Really? Despite the sign that says, do not leave laundry unattended? Sheldon, where are my clothes? You know, I do recall seeing some female undergarments. Where was that? Oh, yes. Earlier this evening, I happened to gaze out the window, and a brassiere caught my eye. Do those look familiar? How the hell did you get up on the telephone wire? When you understand the laws of physics, Penny, anything is possible. And may I add, moi, ha, ha. Get them down. Apologize. Never. Well, then may I suggest you get a very long stick and play panty pinata. Wait, Sheldon, this has gotten way out of hand. Okay, I've done some stupid things, you've done some stupid things. How about we just call it even and move on with our lives? I've done no stupid things. Uh, and look, you've got to meet me halfway here. I am meeting you halfway. I'm willing to concede that you've done some stupid things. <laughs> Hey, you guys are talking again. Good. What happened? Leonard, remember when I said it was on? Well, now it's Junior Rodeo on. Oh, not Junior Rodeo. What did you do? I had no choice, Leonard. She ruined laundry night. Oh. Moi, ha, ha. How much time do we have? Uh, T minus five hours, 37 minutes to onset of meteor shower. Okay, our position is 34.48 degrees north, 118.31 west. That means the azimuth should be 168.22 degrees relative to magnetic north with an elevation of 49.93. Anything yet? Uh, we have a signal, but there's no frame lock. Hang on. How about... Nah. <gasps> we did it. <laughs> we have the west coast feed of HBO. Ooh, real sex. <laughs> Big deal. Every time I watch that show, it's old women putting condoms on cucumbers. 
All right, let's see what's on the East Coast feed. Oh, hey, Dune. <laughs> Not a great movie, but look at that beautiful desert. <laughs> Too bad Sheldon couldn't come with us. Yeah, it's just not the same without him. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I'm switching back to real sex. Sheldon's log. Stardate 63345.3. While my colleagues are off observing the Leonid meteor shower, I've remained behind to complete my paper on the decays of highly excited massive string states. Although my research is going well, I do miss the warmth of human companionship. <laughs> So anyway, there's this big uh, rock and mineral show next week in Santa Monica. Listen, um, b before you say anything else, I, I have a boyfriend. Oh, this is awkward. You thought I was going to ask you to go with me to the mineral show. Weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's very nice of you, but I do have a boyfriend. That's what you all say. You just don't want to go out with me because I have an off-putting personality. No, that's not true. My boyfriend has an off-putting personality, too. Like, way worse than you. <laughs> don't worry. I'm used to it. I mean, I'm big and weird and funny-looking, and no one ever wants to do anything with me. Don't say that. It's OK. I know I'm a monster. No, Bert, come on. I'd love to go to the mineral show with you. Sweet. It's a date. No, it's not. Too late. LeVar Burton? LeVar Burton? LeVar Burton? What are you doing here? You told me not to call, and I didn't know how else to give you the good news. Fun with Flags is back, and you can be in the next episode. Will Wheaton said get a gate. I don't know why I didn't get a gate. You <laughs> At least listen to the premise. Since you were born in Germany, I thought we could talk about German flags. How do you feel about dressing up like a swastika? <laughs> for a run. You want to come? No. Last time, that old lady in the park kept screaming, watch out, he's right behind you. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, can I help you? I don't think so, but you're sweet for asking. <laughs> well, what are you doing in our apartment? Oh, I rented a room from your neighbor. Tall guy, dressed like a little boy. Unbelievable. Okay, uh, I don't know what he told you, but you can't stay here. So, there are fresh linens on the bed. Oh, well, I see you've met Theodore. <laughs> Theodore, these are your new roommates, Leonard and Penny. They're very honest, but I would not leave cash lying around. Sheldon, what do you think you're doing? My room is paid up until... The of the month, so I can do with it whatever I please, which includes renting it out for a dollar a night. It's like the 40s again. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave you be. I do oh, oh, he's expecting a newspaper in the morning. Apparently, they still make them. All right, Sheldon, this is over the line. That's true. But had I done something under the line, there wouldn't be a man in your kitchen who can't produce a single form of ID. I, I, I have a receipt from a blood... I'm O negative. <laughs> and now you know as much about him as I do. Well, this place is creepy. Why? What? Did you see his vegetable garden? Heirloom tomatoes in April. Creepy. <laughs> okay, listen. Dr. Walcott is a brilliant topologist. We need to set some ground rules so that you don't embarrass me. No magic. No whining. You just know. Hey! Uh, 
how come he gets to whine? <laughs> Dr. Walcott? Dr. Walcott? Dr. Walcott? It's a lot of locks. It's a lot of knocks. They're made for each other. <laughs> Dr. Walcott. Dr. Cooper. Uh, who are these people? Oh, these are my friends. I wrote about them in my letter. A letter? I didn't get a letter. Well, that's because I just sent it this morning. So score one for linear time. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I don't normally allow strangers into my house. But when you do, you, you let them out, right? <laughs> Dr. Cooper, if you can promise me these men share your intellect and academic rigor, yeah, I suppose they can join us. You guys might need to wait in the car. <laughs> Is it true, as a child, you were a stutterer and were functionally mute for eight years? It is true. <sighs> Is it true uh, they used scuba gear to create the sound of Darth Vader breathing? They sure did. Oh, is it true that you were pre-med in college and you almost became a doctor? That's right. Oh, James, I could listen to your stories all night. <laughs> me asking do you think you might start dating again it's much too soon for that why do you know someone <laughs> no but if things don't work out with me and leonard i'll give you a call wait how much do you talk about star trek <laughs> okay let's get this victorian party started i've done some research about some traditional parlor games we can play like what well there's a fun one called ball of wool <laughs> You take a ball of wool, and you put it right in the center of the table. Then people sit on opposite sides of the table and try to blow the wool off. Sorry, she's taken two. Anyway. Thank you, God, for the food we're about to receive and for the nourishment of our bodies, and bless the hands that prepared it. Amen. Given that your hands prepared it, isn't that a little self-serving? <laughs> you start changing the words to the prayers, next thing you know, you're in a church with a guitar. <laughs> Thank you for cooking. It looks delicious. Oh, it's my pleasure. Mm. I'm so glad y'all could make it. So tell me, what's going on back home? Well, uh, Howard and Bernadette had their baby. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, had they decided to raise it Jewish or regular? <laughs> Welcome to Texas. They haven't said. <laughs> anyway, we uh, we also have some exciting news to share. Oh wait, 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 shouldn't we just eat? You know, I mean, God did take time out of his busy schedule to bless these sloppy joes. Come on, Shelley, tell me your news. All right, this is on you. <clears throat> Amy and I are living together in sin like a couple of New Yorkers. <laughs> now, while you scold us, I'm going to get a knife and a fork. Joe may be sloppy, but Sheldon's not. Well, thank you for letting me know, and I, for one, am thrilled. What? Where's the judgment? Where's the fire and brimstone? Where's the part where you tell us we're going to hell? And I say, have you seen the size of the bugs outside? We're already there. Obviously, I would prefer if you weren't living out of wedlock, but given your special circumstances, I'm very happy for you. And what special circumstances are those? Oh, boy. I think it's about to get bad. <laughs> Oh, and it turns out Denise is also really excited for Dan Slott's run on Iron Man because he was her favorite Spider-Man writer, too. How about that? Oh, and guess who goes to art school right here in Pasadena? Hmm, I don't know. Denise? You're a good guesser, Amy. Not as good as Denise, though. She thought I would like this comic Aerosmith, and she was right.
Well, was the store crowded? I bet it was. I know you hate that. Yeah, it was. But if it weren't for the crowds, Stuart never would have hired Denise. And she's the best. <laughs> You must be Denise. Oh, yeah. How can I help you? I'm Amy, Sheldon's fiance. Oh, <laughs> I gotta be honest, I wasn't 100% sure you were real. <laughs> oh, I am. And I heard you and Sheldon had a great time today talking about comic books. We did. Great. Here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> You're gonna teach me how to do that. Do what? Pretend to like comic books. Oh, no, I actually like comic books. <laughs> All right. Let's not get hung up on semantics. It's late, we got a lot of work to do. 